Yeah. Hello, everyone. Hey, can you all hear me? How's the audio? How's it? How's it sounding? Okay. Can you hear this? All right, good. So you heard the tapping on the mic. All right, so that means everything is hooked up correctly. All right, so real quick, uh, what we got here, just to uh, let everyone know what is going on here. Uh, first and foremost, that is a demon child that just ran in. If you caught that and <laughs> um, there she is, that that's my wonder child, Shelly. Um, so what we're going to be talking about tonight is uh, G Fest just got done happening. Uh, collectively, I had uh, six hours of sleep. Hold on a second. Let me adjust this. Okay, so collectively, there you can see me. Um, I've had six hours of sleep since I got back Sunday night. <laughs> Shelly. Um, I've done a lot of personal things. I've had a nice time to uh, reflect on G Fest. And I didn't buy a whole lot in the dealer's room, but I <laughs> got a whole lot outside of g fest as you could see by the boxes now this bbts box um i have actually had that for about a week and that has been shelly uh that has been shelly's favorite uh cat toy so i kind of don't want to open it yeah she's looking up at the ceiling for no reason she's kind of weird so, um, how was everyone's uh, weekend? Did you go to G-Fest? Did you not go to G-Fest? What's going on here? How y'all doing? I'll turn the camera on me in a minute, but I just want you to enjoy my, uh, my cat Shelly here. So, first and foremost, Godzilla 154. As we discussed, I found a grail figure. So it's okay that I went over $5. So Godzilla Production TV says that G-Fest was boss editing my haul video right now. Kaimo Film said I went and had a blast. Thanks for signing my program book on Sunday. Not a problem. Good to know that uh, you came on back. All right. No G Fest here in the Philippines. That's a shame. I saw you walking at G Fest. I did a lot of walking. Hey, Super Mechrio Zilla. All right. So let me get everything straightened out here. All right. Oof. Oof, Luigi. Okay. So it's a what's in the box live kind of deal. And we're going to talk about G-Fest. Oof. Big oof. Beard. All right. Wish that G-Fest was in Houston, Texas. I uh, kind of agree about, um, in general, a potential change of location. We have Ultrazilla in the house. So something that I didn't do is uh, share the actual live stream links anywhere. So I'm going to do that now. Yeah, man. Woo, woo. Your beard looks fake weird. No. It's all real. It's all real. Trust me, I... 
comb it more than I probably should. All right. Uh, in favor of traveling to G-Fest, you absolutely need to at least once. How's my Ghidorah holding up? Real quick, we'll do a spin -a Kaiju, oh, Danny. Yes, saw him quite a few times. Sometimes he didn't even see me. All right, posting live stream link on uh, my Facebook page. If you didn't know, I have social media everywhere. Go like, follow, all that fun stuff. All right. Have you watched Godzilla's Revenge? Unfortunately, how are the Splatoon figures? I got a review. Expired milk. One review soon. Well, I don't know. Maybe we'll uh, see Android Twenty One soon. Hmm. Oh, oh, what's that? What's that? I got this TR. Hmm. Three times, which is a long time ago. Uh, my first G Fest was actually last year, and it was kind of, you know, middle of the road, met up with some buddies. So, so let's talk about G Fest. Yeah, we've been here for about six and a half minutes now. Let's get to the meat and taters, what, what some of you folks want. So, let me go ahead and chronicle my G Fest experience. So, here's what I had. So, for me, uh, my AC is running. So, if you don't like that, it's okay. Because it's hot. I'm sweating like a um, lady in the, of the night in a religious establishment. Anyway, so for G-Fest this year, the way that it was supposed to work actually was uh, a friend of my wife's and mine's, uh, we were initially planning to go to Maryland because there is a guitar company there. You've probably seen me in a shirt. PRS guitars, Paul Reed Smith guitars. I posted my baby on Instagram a few times and some other places. Um, they do a factory tour, what used to be once a year. Now it switched to every other year. Didn't find that out until this year. So she opted instead. We, you know, we agreed, let's go to Chicago and sort of do like a Chicago trip because why not? Let's just go to Chicago. That'd be fun. So she ended up coming with us to G Fest. So it was my wife, our friend, me. I'm. It was kind of difficult to get me to go. Gotta be honest, I didn't want to, but you know, I said, okay, fine, I'll go to G Fest. And then my buddy Boats can fly win as well. He actually had a panel. We'll talk about that in a second. So we all stayed in the room, and we got there Thursday last year. I went on Friday, and that kind of sealed the deal that if you're not in uh chicago proper it really isn't particularly worth it to uh spend one or even two days at g-fest yet you, you, you gotta go if you're gonna be out of state so we got there on thursday um and we spent all three days there um so friday we got there to Crown Plaza. And no, you know what? I'm sorry. I, I, boats can fly. RJ, you're going to be watching this, hopefully. Um, so I need to tell you about this. So we get there Thursday, right? And on the way there, I'm talking to him like, hey, where are you at? Well, I'm with Matt from Kaiju Transmissions and we're at Geo's. Geo's is short for Giordano's. Are you at the one in Rosemont or are you at the one downtown? We're at the one in Rosemont. Okay, cool. You're there. We'll meet you there. We'll be there in five minutes. So we get there. You there? Yep, we're at Geo's. Okay, great. So we show up. Okay, great. Perfect. We walk in, make sure we can get a table. RJ tells me, oh, there's going to be an hour wait for pizza. You better get here soon. Okay, fine. So we're there. Giordano's hour wait. That's pretty good. That's about a little less than average. So we get there. RJ, where are you at? Oh, Matt and his buddies are getting ready to leave. Where are you at? I'm sitting in the back. So I walk around the whole place. I don't see you. I'm walking up towards the front. 
I don't see you. Did you go to the wrong restaurant? I'm at Giordano's. Oh, we're at Gino's East. Went to the wrong restaurant. He went to Gino's East of Chicago Pizza, which had G-Fest special pizza pizzas, which weren't available until Saturday night, apparently. So we went over there. And it wasn't good. <laughs> it, it came out to like 60 bucks for a medium pizza and all of our drinks. And I think one side salad. Now, RJ didn't eat. So it was for three people, 60 bucks. Um, so anyway, Thursday night and on the way there, I was editing videos. I edited the translucent blue G for real, D for real, Godzilla Earth, Monster Arts King Ghidorah, and the SDCC Gypsy Avenger. So I was finishing editing them and uploading them on the Hyatt uh, Wi-Fi. That's where we stayed. So I got those uploaded for everybody. And then Friday morning, we're at the con. The dealer's room was, oh man. We got there probably at about 10.30, line out the door. They're like, Oh, this. So we just kind of walked around and I, I started meeting folks right away. So that was great. Um, and so we were trying to figure out what we were going to do. So we just didn't know. Um, where did I put it? So we decided to go to Artist Alley. And we were burned some time going to Artist Alley. Um, and in Artist Alley, I was like, hmm. Bet I'm not going to find anything, which I forgot to buy a comic from a gentleman I wanted to buy. Um, I didn't, so I kind of feel bad about that, but that's not the point. Um, so our Sally was pretty cool. Dope Pope, really cool guy. I think he may have accidentally slipped up and said something maybe he shouldn't have said. Um, I might be buying an X-plus figure soon, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, but I'm not going to repeat what he said, so that's all I'm going to say. Um, at any rate... Um, so we're walking around the dealer's room. People are handing out stuff. People are like, Hey, buy my stuff. Apparently there was a rule, um, that you couldn't have more than 33% Toho stuff on display. And I guess there was a way to circumvent that with sketchbooks. I, it wasn't really clear to me, uh, which whatever. So I get to this one guy. Okay. Mostly fantasy. His name is Tom. Right. And I see this thing on the table. And I'm like, what is that? It is the arachno lobster from the mist. So what Tom did for mostly fantasy was he replayed and played it again and played it again like the total of 45 seconds i think it is where this shows up in the movie so this way he could get a reference for how it should look and then descriptions from uh the book right and he made a resin model kit from it so i think he said he had five with him and Here's what it looks. Here's the head raw, right? So by itself, nothing in it. I think I posted it to my Instagram stories when he did it, which was made out of metal, I think he said. So this is really cool. Um, the reason I got this, which basically shot my wad, so to speak, for any funding uh, for anything for me to buy. Um, first and foremost, Stephen King. So you can't go wrong there. Uh, you you all know I love Pennywise. He's my dude. And my wife's a big Stephen King fan. Uh, big fan of Mr. Mercedes, um, The Shining, Pet Cemetery, all that fun stuff. And it's not just the popular stuff, too. Like, I'm looking up at her bookshelf right now. I just see seven books of Stephen King. So there's that. So we got that. I bought that sort of as like an intentional thing. Like, hey, we can do this together. Um, so I'm, I'm buying some model stuff now on Amazon. So this way we can make it. So I got that. It was really cool. It's 125 bucks, 375 for the whole thing. Completely put together. So um, dealer's room. 
finally got a chance to go in. And oh my God. It's actually kind of in the middle this year. There were obviously some folks who were crazy with some vinyl prices. It's like you're charging 50 bucks for the movie monster series King Ghidorah 2019. Like I don't even have to pull up my phone and show you that HLJ has it for like 2000 yen before shipping. Like I don't have to do that. I can go to beast from the East collectibles, which is right in the center row. They've got it for 35 bucks. So even if I were to get it from HLJ, it'd probably be about the same price that they're selling it for. So, you know, there was no contest there. Um, so, you know, there were some kind of questionable things like that. It's like, dude, are you really doing that? And then there were some stuff that was really cool, like beast from these collectibles or beast of the East. I don't know. Anyway, um, good prices. So there were a lot of folks selling the monster arts, 2019 Godzilla. I saw one King Ghidorah in ballroom two. I think it was, that was just on display. That's it. So saw a whole bunch of Godzilla 2019s. They were from 70 to 75 bucks, 75 bucks. That's good. That's fine and dandy. Um, there were some monster arts that were fairly priced, which is a good thing. Um, so a couple of overpriced things here and there, kind of on like the higher end of MSRP for some stuff that was still in circulation, like Mecha Godzilla 74, uh, Godzilla 1962, things like that. Some folks were selling some NECA stuff for like 30, 35 bucks, which, yeah. Uh, there was a table that was selling bootlegs. They were also selling NECA stuff. So it's kind of like, yeah, you're selling bootleg NECAs. Yeah. And then we got to the complete other end of the spectrum where there was one table that was selling Godzilla 2019s for 95 bucks right out the gate. They were selling Mo NECA Mothras for 40 bucks. Godzilla 1962 for uh, 50 bucks or no, 45 bucks. I think it was. They were selling some something else for 50 bucks. I don't remember what it was. <sighs> there was um, a one table that sold the Monster Arts Mecha King Ghidorah for $700. The Chiki, Chikio, Chik, 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 what, whatever it was. I, I covered it in my scalping video. That same table had it again this year for $850. It sold. They had both of the memorial boxes. One was like over $2,000. Another was, I think, $1,800. I don't remember. Um, Male Muto for 120 bucks. I'm like, what? I know I just kind of like threw a lot out there at you, but, and there were some folks who were defending it saying, well, this person came from halfway across the country and they have to pay for it. I'm thinking to myself, but cost on those things. Let me give you an example. A $2,000 Gibson Les Paul guitar does not cost the retailer $2,000. Costs them about $1,500, which means when they sell it, they make $500 back. So if they were to go to a convention where they sold this guitar and they were to still sell it for $2,000, you factor in, like, let's say, spread across all the inventory, gas, luggage, travel, food, and whatnot okay, maybe you're only going to make 250 off of that, but you're still going to make it. So that begs the question on something that's $70 cost is probably going to be somewhere between 40 and 50. If you're an actual retailer who got it through official distribution means. I'll leave it at that. So there was that. Also, my buddy, uh, Boats Can Fly, got stiffed by a dealer until the last day where uh, he wasn't given lunch. He was only given a $20 bill. I'll leave that at that as well. So overall, for the dealer's room, it was kind of okay. So for Friday, we went and we took a look in the movie room downstairs, which I had never done before. I did not do that at all at G-Fest last year. Um. That was pretty neat. Uh, we mostly just saw Gamera versus uh, Giron, Gyron, whatever it was. Um, and then after that, they basically spoiled King of the Monsters for my friend from Germany. They played the whole movie in a trailer. And then they like consecutively 
rapid fire played the Gamera three trailers. <laughs> like it was one after another, after another, it was just kind of bad. After that. Uh, yes, it was boats can flies panel, which was about Bandai and Ultraman. Um, and how those two went together and how Bandai influenced Ultraman, which essentially was back in the day, there wasn't really much of an influence aside from them making product for Ultraman. Uh, and then as time went on, they acquired a portion of, I guess, Subaraya Productions. And then there was a whole licensing thing. And then now basically Bandai says, hey, we have this product that's here. Like, we're going to give you a sword. We're going to give you a, a transformation device. And you have to figure out how to use it. And that's how they make the product for the show. So that was rather interesting. Uh, and he did a great job as sort of the person spearheading the panel. So that was good to see. And then after that, um, Kaiju, the Kaiju Transmission guys, they had a panel on versus Biolante. At that point, um, a certain uh, someone who... Uh, revealed his face to basically nobody that weekend pulled me out. So I missed a, a portion of that, uh, but it was still good from everything that I saw. And then after that, it was just kind of chilling. We went back to the hotel and then we went to go see King of the Monsters, came back and just crashed. Saturday was kind of more of the same. We went to go see more stuff in the movies uh, downstairs. We saw not Zilla, which actually turned out a lot better. I thought it was going to be really cheesy and bad. It was actually pretty funny. It was still bad, but it was it was funny. It was bad in like the they actually did that. Like they, they made that corny joke, but it was still good. It was still good. I'm looking forward to a sequel. It's only the beginning. Um, More dealers room shenanigans and Saturday. So when I got this, this is my uh, Legion 20 soldier set from X plus. So I paid 62 bucks. I had to pay with a card. Um, because I didn't have the cash on me because I actually bought Ultrazilla. Where are you at? Post in the chat what I got you or what I am middle manning for you. Um, what's Legion? Go watch Gamera 2. Um, so yes, yeah, so it was a weird thing that happened when I picked up something from Ultrazilla. I had exactly $60 <laughs> and I bought the thing that he wanted and then I went over to uh, Chibi Goji Toys and they had this for 55 so I had to use a card. So anyway, um, so the reason why it's this much, first and foremost, it's old. And if you want to get this out of Japan, First and foremost, it's going to cost you about 35 bucks just to get this. And then there's going to be shipping. So I got it for a fair price. Now, I could also get a bag of about th or, yeah, 300 of them for 180 bucks. And they're smaller. I'm not doing that. No, Ultrazilla, there's nothing to apologize for. It all works out just fine. So he didn't post it, but he got... Um, oh, uh, he didn't post it, but he wanted to get the Neo Kong from YMSF, which I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Um, so Claudia Czar in chat is my German friend. who was uh, with us, who's currently in chat. Hi, Claudia. Okay, so um, Saturday, she did, she, she claims she found it, but yeah. So, so there was the dealer's room Saturday, and then we went to Giordano's Saturday. That was primo. That came out to 54. 
some bucks for all four of us plus like sides and drinks. It was good. So Giordano's, if you're going to go to G-Fest, you have to go to Giordano's. So much better. And we were thinking we were going to go see Monster Zero, but nah. Nope, nope, nope. So we didn't go. And then Sunday, um, Sunday was just a quick wrap up, another run through the dealer's room. Here, let me do it over here. Another run through the dealer's room. I keep thinking that you can see my right hand, but you actually can't. So I got to do it over here. Um, just to see if there was anything there. Big boats can fly. I actually squared up with the dealer who he helped set up to get um, his money. So that's good. Um, I didn't find anything there in particular that I liked that final day, except for I saw the. Oh, I like shotgun a can of Diet Coke before I did this, so I'm kind of burping. Um, I did see the Monster Outside series, the ones from the P. Bandai web shop, Sanda and Gyra for like 150 together. Half tempted there, but, you know, didn't get them. Um, yeah, dealer's room. Um, we got my brother-in-law a... Uh, a shirt my wife did and that was about it we did a trip to the field museum where we actually got to see sue this year if you watch my recap video from g fest last year you know that um we didn't get to see sue so we actually got to see it and it was really cool because they had sue's skull sue is the largest most complete intact skeleton of a tyrannosaurus rex if you don't know what sue is based to to crunch it down to size so they had the actual um fully intact skull on display whereas the rest of the skeleton was essentially just a cast of sue and you got to see so many cool things like parts of the skull were crushed in and they gave a hypothesis as to why there were holes in the jaw which they believe may have been from a fungal infection because sue ate bad meat like, how do you come up with this stuff like whatever it's pretty cool um so yes we got to see sue and then from there it was basically time to go because claudia and chat i uh, had to go back to germany she was flying out of chicago and it was an like a six and a half seven hour drive for my wife and i to go back home and we had to work the next day so yesterday, uh, and we got home at about two o'clock before we were all settled in. It was two 30 and we had to be up at, well, it was about six to go to work. So a little over three hours of sleep, not fun. And then because we got backed up on laundry and we had to do other things, I didn't go to sleep till about three o'clock last night. So, yeah. So I saw a couple questions about the dealer's room. Um, there's bigger than two. I don't, I don't care. Um, months ago, I, I don't really follow like the paleontology stuff. So I like pop culture, you know? Um, so for the dealer's room, um, some accept cards, not everyone. Uh, it, I advise you to bring about $300 in cash because you will probably find some stuff that it's going to be an impulse buy. I don't really recommend it um, just in case there's like a grail. But if you like, let's say you do a pickup for a buddy, like I did, and you run out of cash, the recept, the, the internet in the crown plaza is terrible. I had one and a half gigs used on my mobile data because I had to for, what is now my previous job um, and just general listening to music when I'm out and about I'm at four gigs now. So um, from all the card swiping, it may not read. So bring a whole bunch of cash. Do I have plans to visit SDCC? Um, not sure. We'll see. 
We'll see. We will see on that one. All right. Last year it was all right. Uh, the problem is, is that not everyone actually had access to the Wi-Fi. I couldn't get the password. To shave my life. So YMSF. YMSF. Let's talk about YMSF for a minute here, yeah? So YMSF. Um, yes, Ultrazilla. There was there were serious AC problems as well. So YMSF had the uh, behemoth and some other stuff at G Fest, including Gifantis or G Fantis. And they had prototypes, which actually looked really cool. Um, no ETA on Behemoth, but they had Wolfman and Cthulhu, which actually look really cool i really do like them and uh cthulhu is getting a kickstarter i believe it's next year and believe you me that is something i may back um i'm not sure if i'm going to specifically back it but i will be getting it probably in one way or another so that was pretty cool uh behemoth looks pretty rock solid i think it looks a little too thin myself but it's good um, and then there was a new game that was shown at G Fest. I don't quite remember the name of it, but um, they had a Megodon. Shelly is back, the cat. Um, vinyl. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. All right. So, yeah, the AC was out. It was terrible. Yeah, Dawn of the Monsters. It was something like that. All right, let's take maybe a couple more questions. And then we'll do the uh, what's in the box segment. Yeah. Behemoth is now a vegan. Well, that's a shame. Exactly is the deal with YMSF. Are they an independent company or a big business? Okay. Mm. They're like not third party. I mean, they're not third party. Everything is officially licensed, but a lot of folks don't consider them like to be the primary, but they're doing more stuff that's unique and would you would consider them for primary, but um, are you done cooking yet? I already ate dinner, Claudia. Uh, will you get the behemoth? Maybe. Are you getting Necker Rodan? I don't know. Let's maybe wait five minutes on that question's answer. Yeah. What are you looking forward to most when it comes to SDCC? Um, not a whole lot. Aside from maybe getting my my hands on the Dragon Ball exclusives. You can't see what I just did, but for those of you who are smart, when I say Dragon Ball and you see my shoulder moving and my hand going down, you can kind of figure out what I did. Did I see MIB? I saw several men in black. And their faces. Any news on Methuselah figures? Didn't see any. Do you know if the NECA Rodan is available yet? Questions we will have answers to in about five minutes. What Godzilla figures are you hoping to see revealed from NECA? Uh, we're going to be seeing Burning Godzilla. And that's pretty much a given. And I expect maybe one of the other Titans, probably Behemoth. Um, get any groovy Safubis? No, but I'm hoping to get another couple kill cats. And I, I'm scrolling. Hello, Dennis. Have you seen the Mattel Jurassic World six inch amber collection figures? What are your thoughts? Yes, I've seen them. I want to see more. 
before I consider buying them because I don't really have the space or the money. Are you interested in alien predator movies? On that note, let's go ahead and start opening these bad boys up. Oof. There's TV. There's cat. That is other cat. Say hello, Sherry. Whoa. I hope you like the sound of my uh, necklace there because that's all. That's what y'all heard. Since I know all of you thirsty, thirsty Goji fans want to know what's in this box. We're going to save that probably for last. All right. So what's in this box? What do we think? What might be in this box? It's going to be something good. Here comes Shelly. Now, I'll give you all a hint for the theme here. It's going to be Dragon Ball, Pokemon, Kaiju, and more. Now, Shelly, I have to fix this real quick. We're maybe not fully unpacked from G-Fest. All right, so. <gasps> we got bubble wrap, yay! Oh. Oh, wait a minute, what is this? Well, I got a turd. I don't know what this is. Um, thank you for your purchase. Mini orange. Okay. Well, that's great. Thank you. So you can kind of see what it is right away. If it's not coming out backwards, someone let me know if you could, if this is, if, if you can read this. It's the D for real Godzilla 2016 frozen version. Oh, so is that left to right or right to left? Let me know. So that's box one. Let's go ahead and open this real quick. It's right to left. I figured, oh, it's left to right. It's normal. See, I'm seeing it in reverse. That's YouTube for you. Oof. Big oof. You're posting cringe, bro. I'm serving you your papers. And here he is. There he is. Small, width wise, pretty tall. Because he's. You know what they say about Godzilla's with big tails? They drag. Did you expect anything else when Sh when Shin comes on screen? <laughs> okay. My cats just hissed at each other. Amazon. All 
I have to be very careful actually opening this because I'm not quite sure what this is. Oh. Wicked Cool Toys. Gengar. So this basically doesn't exist at retail. So I got it. It's a bomb. Well, you know, you can get Gengar to learn self-destruct. So I'll leave it at that. All right. So somebody asked about Android 21. This better be it. Because if not, all right, overpacked, not needed, but okay. Too much bubble wrap. Look, I got Ultraman R&B. And then Android 21. Now, I'm kind of concerned because look at the difference in the brownness for the uh, boxes there. That's really odd. Very peculiar. So let's go ahead and just open up. Whoop. Godzilla has one crazy sister. Well, that's disappointing. It's just a box. Okay. All right, 21. Do you like bubble gum? Do you like boobs? Well, guess what? We'll make a fighter out of you. There you go. There you go. Android 21. So, okay. I was kind of worried there for like a legitimacy test because uh, the brown box coloration difference was huge. Okay, um, let's just go ahead and finish up one portion of the types of figures I got. From I don't know, can you tell? Can you guys tell where I got this from? Can Can you tell? Because I'm not quite sure where I got it from. I, I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Super Saiyan Buru. Goku. Boring. Hello, Foot. All right, so this is going to be something a little different. Now, somebody said they want to see Godzilla figures. Let's wait a minute. You already saw one.
Oh my goodness, the tape here. Oh no, boy, he did it. Boy, he did it. Now look at that, my cat's got a mouse. Boy, he finna about to do it. So as some of you may know, um, the licensing rights for A Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th are on hold. So... I got an accessory set for Freddy Krueger while it was still cheap. There you go. There you go. All right. Now, you thirsty, thirsty Godzilla fans. That's a hint, by the way. What do you want next? This. Or this. One in chat for this. Two for this. Anyone who is seriously spamming is going to get muted or hidden from the chat. All right, that's enough. Two it is. Big BBTS box. Oh. Okay. Okay, swing that mic out. Oh, crikey. All right, so here we go. I got a lot to clean up. First and foremost, Chucky without the quality control issues. So this Chucky actually had a problem where the legs did not match the... Uh, the overalls so there you go this was uh 20 bucks on one of their um anniversary sales and then a nightmare on elm street Two, and three. There you go. There you go. All right. Then, of course, we got the Razor Claws Alien. 
pretty sweet. We got an arachnoid alien. And then this is the part where you get really excited. The chrysalis alien with what is that sliding around in there? It's a silicone gel packet. What the f okay. So there you go. Do I like aliens? Just maybe a, a little bit. Pennywise accessory set. There you go. Okay, Pennywise. Now, if you're going to have a Pennywise accessory set, you got to have a dancing clown. There you go. Now, here's the last bit from this box, which I've been waiting on forever. It is, I think, the T-Y-O-S Toys Dragon Base Accessory, which is like a resin impact effect that looks just like, just like that. And it lights up. So that's pretty cool. And I like that. So I'm going to open that one up later fully. All right. Well, I think that's about it. So that's pretty good. All right. Everything's opened up. And I got to put everything away now. Oh. Oh, where'd it go? Where did it go? Get, get no packing peanut for you. Oh, yeah, this thing. There's something in here. You happy? There you go, Rodan. Oh, he's 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 in there. He's got the extra face. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah, he'll be reviewed soon. So don't worry about that. All right, folks. It's eleven thirty-six. Don't pull on the wings, says Ultrazilla. I say don't pull on something else that starts with a W and ends in Ings, but it ain't an I in there. All right. Well, it's 1136 where I'm at. I'm getting real close. Real close. Look into my eye. All right. Well, Ethan, thank you so much. I hope you uh I hope you have a good day. All right. All right, folks. Um I'm going to get some sleep. Rodan will be probably up next on the review block. Um, I hope you all had fun. We'll probably do this again sometime. My cats are being idiots, so I got to go smack them upside the head with love. 
And by love, I mean my fist of tender and kindness, of doom and destruction and pain with fluffy cuddles. All right. I don't know what I'm going to be getting for SDCC exclusives. My cats aren't abused. I love them. All right. You folks all have a good night. I'll talk to you all later. Till the next stream. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>